guys, in my last video, we started looking at using operators, uh, the assignment operators and the arithmetic operators on numbers. And in this video, we are going to be looking at using the operator on strings. Now, there's not much uh, operators you can use on strings, but we can, we can use the plus operator on strings to add uh, strings together to like stick it together. So let's have a look at that. So we have this uh, Variable X Y and Z from last time and let's delete document right for now Now let's say X equals we have a text. Uh, hello my name is Oops there and let's say Y equals uh, John Ford Yep and let's say Z is now going to equal uh, X plus Y. Just like the when we are uh, working with numbers, it's simple Z equals X plus Y. Now in this case, because X and Y are both strings, Z is going to be a combination of these strings. So what happens is the hello, my name is, and the John Ford text, these two texts are going to stick together. Now, let's uh, output y document, uh, document, I can't type, document right, dead, and save our work and refresh. Oops, go back and refresh. There we go. Hello, my name is John Ford. <coughs> now, the two uh, strings which were assigned to X and Y are now stuck together on Z. Now the reason to which the two Y there's no uh, space between is and John is because I didn't add any space after is or before John. So let's type, let's add a space between uh, bef after S. There we go. Hello, my name is John Ford and I could add like a, oops, add a uh, full stop to it. There we go, we have a sentence. So now Z is going to be equals equal hello my name is John Ford which is a combination of the two strings assigned to X and Y. Yep. And uh, now in my last video we looked at using operators on numbers and here we quickly look at using the add operator or the plus operator on strings. Now let's uh, see how, what happens if we add uh, strings and numbers together using this z equals x plus y. Now I'll delete the comment. I'll keep this because I want to output z and let's delete this and instead of a value let's type uh, hello my name is 100 which is going to be a number because I didn't add any quotes to it. Now uh, x equals hello my name is y equals 100 and z is going to be equals x plus y so let's save our work and refresh. Now because JavaScript is a loose uh, programming language it's not strict uh, you can easily add the combination of strings and numbers to form a simple sentence. Now if we change this 100 to a string and save it and refresh nothing happens because JavaScript automatically just adds on the number out to a string and outputs it as a string like so. Now let's see if we used a uh, I don't know, 50 here. This, uh, as you can see, we have a number 50 and a number 100. So obviously Z is going to be 150. However, let's add 50 here and let's type 100 here and save it and refresh. The number is going to be, or the output is just going to be a string of 50, 100 put together. So what we could do is do 50 plus space and refresh and there we go, we have 50 plus 100. Simple. So when we add two numbers together, we 
come up with or the output is going to be a number. When we add two strings together, it's going to be a string. And when we output a string and a number, it's going to be a string. So that's it. That was a quick video on using uh, operators or this uh, plus operator on uh, two strings, a string and a string and a number. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.